Okay, so a sacrament is something you can see, it's not here, that Jesus created in order to give us grace. What's grace? That's a big one. When I was a kid, they said grace is a, is a little girl with a dirty face. <laughs> it's the name of a woman, you know, grace, but that's not what it means here. That's the result of the grace in our lives. Yeah, what does the word itself mean? That was a very good answer. So I want you to just be creative like that and try some answers. They may not be exact, but they're coming close. Yeah. Now we pray for grace, and grace is a gift from God. The word grace means a gift from God. And the gift that he gives us in the sacraments is a gift of a share. And it's what to do for you in ordinary life. What happens if you don't pray? You die. Right. So the water of baptism is a symbol of life. Right? What else do you do with water? And what do you do with it? Like, what does your, your mom and dad make you do every day? Before you go to school? Or when you come home? To school? Baptism. Jesus comes to us with waters of baptism. Our side you can see that he created that gives us new life. And what does he do? He washes away our Genesis to establish He gives us a share. And it's always something you can see. Water, and baptism, bread and wine in the Eucharist. And now we're going to talk about confirmation, which is going to happen today. You can see through which Jesus gives us a share in his life in the sacrament of confirmation. Water, baptism, red wine in the Eucharist, what is it in the sacrament of confirmation? Yeah, that's, yeah. What, is, what signs does Jesus use to touch your life and give you a share in life of God in confirmation? Some of you can see. Oil, that's it, oil. There's actually two signs. The first sign is, can you turn towards me? As part of the ceremony, I'm going to lay my hand on your head. So, part of the symbol is the laying on of hands. What does that mean? Why don't I do this? <laughs> I don't like laying on my hands. You know? What does that mean? There we go. Come on. You don't have to tell me my name. <laughs> Church has received, which is the Holy Spirit. No guesses, even? Okay, over there. I can't see you. There you are. We use oil to heat our homes. Some people say, well, oil is you light it, it causes fire, and fire is a symbol of the Holy Spirit. That's what it means. It's a good answer. It's very creative, but it's not right. <laughs> but it's really using your imagination, which is what theology is, right? Theology is taking the faith of the church and trying to imagine what it means. Yes, sir. Yeah, but what does anointing mean? The word anoint, what does it mean? Yes, young lady. Well, you're using your imagination. That's good. Hopefully that's what happens when you give your prayer. The Holy Spirit comes into your life. But the word anointing is the answer. But most of us don't know what the word anointing means. What does it mean in the natural world around us? We say someone is anointed with oil. What is it? You're a young lady. You're a lot younger than I am. <laughs> he did. Yeah. That's exactly right. In, in the tradition of the Old Testament and in the Catholic Church, people are marked with oil as a sign they're being set apart for the Word of God. The word anoint means to Mark with oil. <laughs> Sometimes you try to put it with a really complicated answer. But to anoint means to mark the answer. So let's question it yourself. If I mean you insist that it's true. Right? Like if we make a reservation at a hotel and we want to know what's going to be there, when we get there, we call and ask for a confirmation of the reservation, right? So that's what the word confirmation means. It means you insist with the promises your parents made for you are yours and you're in the Father and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost and tonight is given to you sacramentally in confirmation? With the gift of the 
the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. With the gift of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you.